Hi everybody, it's Eve back again from Give a Hoot Designs. Um, first and foremost, I just wanted to um, welcome all my new subscribers. I had an overwhelming amount of people subscribe and comment on my previous canvas and it um, it really blew me away and it's all thanks to Jane. So hi Jane and thanks again. Um, so today I just wanted to share something really quick that I just kind of whipped together. Well, it took a little bit of time but... Um, Nevertheless, nevertheless, it came out okay. Um, it's not a piece that I'm like totally, I don't think, I don't know if I'm done with it yet or not really crazy about it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me um, and my lack of supplies right now because for those of you who um, were new, um, we're constructing our basement. So I had to pack up all my crafting supplies and there it's in the garage. So um, I am proud of myself for trying to come up with things that I did kind of save uh, before we pack things away because I knew I just had to feed my habit somehow. So I kept some stuff before we packed them away. Um, so um, I am kind of proud of myself because um, I've been using a lot of the stuff that I have saved up, so these are like kind of little things that I had left over and some things that I made, um, like these flowers for instance and things like that. Um, so yeah, so this is a mixed media um, canvas that I just uh, whipped up um, um, using a the Prima Dolls, like the new uh, mixed media Prima Dolls. Um, I got like three or four of them. Um, I love them, they're so, they're awesome. Um, so started off with a blank 8x10 canvas, um, sprayed it with a ton of different Lindy's Stamp Gang sprays, um, as well as some Tattered Angels and some Mr. Hueys, like the dark spots here that you see are Mr. Hueys. They're more like of a saturated kind of um, um, spray. Um, then I stamped um, the girl and I paper pieced her clothes. Um, and then what I did is I went to my silhouette and cut out a, um, it's kind of like a Paris vintage theme going on here. I guess I went with a Paris theme. I, obviously, I see a lot of, a lot of Paris stamps here. Um, so yeah, I cut out a, um, sorry, a Eiffel Tower, which you can't really see. It's really hidden away. But I just tucked it there because I thought it needed something. Um, and then I... Um, added some flowers that I handmade. The, this flower here was made out of um, cupcake liners. I saw a tutorial on YouTube and um, I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, so yeah, I added that there. This is a crepe paper flower right here um, that I saw from um, Scrapanology's channel. Um, she just did a tutorial on how she made it, so I just followed along and did the same thing. Added some bling in the middle. Um, these flowers back here, these satin, satin flowers, they came from a... Um, like a old stamping up trinket box. It had like pearls and flowers and things like that. So um, I decided to finally crack it open. I never did. And there's so many yummy goodies in there. I'm so mad that I never did that earlier. And so I decided to put some here. And these are like whatever left I had of my um, Wild Orchid Crafts flowers that um, from my little stash that I have saved that I used. So these are here. These stamps here um, and back here are another Prima set that I had ordered in this one. Um, so I stamped, cut them out, as well as up here too, stamped the Welcome to Paris, attached this little um, Eiffel Tower that I cut, fussy cut and glued on there, along with that little um, postage Paris um, stamp there. Um, some more of these like flowers here from that trinket stampin' up box and then these um, sticker flourishes were just from my local dollar store and I just added them. I didn't know if I really wanted them because they're black and there's no black in here but because of the dark spots I thought I didn't have anything else brown to add so I thought maybe I would just put them there and then I added a little bit more like these little black flower stickers just to tie it in a little bit and I added, did I mention that I added a little... That was my very last tiny one, tiny rosebud from Wild Orchid Crafts. And these um, joily shapes here that you see, I randomly stamped using a Jenny Bowlin Brown sugar uh, stamp pad using my uh, new Hero Arts doily stamp, which I love. It's so awesome. So yeah, this is it, guys. Um, oh, and I added a little tiny clothespin from my local dollar store um, onto um, these little mini postcards here. So I have to say I am proud because I am challenged right now. <laughs> I don't have everything at hand and I'm using what I can. Um, so it's nice that, you know, I can use my stuff up and kind of challenge myself. Um, like I said, it's not, can't say it's the greatest thing I've made so far, but um, 
I wanted to do something today, so I whipped this up. Please let me know your thoughts, and thank you again for subscribing and uh, joining along in my uh, on my little crafting journey. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye, guys.